New this morning, business is booming, at least for some. As we told you on Friday, Ohio's unemployment rate has ticked up. Some industries are seeing a record number of jobs in the state. News Eyes Remy Murray looks into what's behind the growth in construction jobs, as she also speaks with one business owner about her plans for the future. According to Lieutenant Governor John Houston, Ohio's future is bright. Ohio continues to create jobs at a record pace. We have more jobs than any point in the history of Ohio. Just last month, Houston says the state created around 5,800 jobs. That number is in addition to the more than 88,000 employment opportunities Ohio has produced this year alone. This is a new day for Ohio. For generations, we, we were a state that was losing jobs. Now we're a state that's gaining jobs. Construction is also seeing record high numbers with 250,000 workers, thanks in part to projects like the new Sherwin-Williams headquarters in Cleveland and the Intel plant in central Ohio. We have a lot of projects that are being built and that means that as soon as those projects are done, there's going to be thousands of more jobs that are going to come as a result of, of that construction. Arian Kirkpatrick, who's the president and CEO of the AKA team, tells me she's proud to see growth in her line of work because she says it shows a turnaround from the past. The numbers were actually going down, but right here in Cleveland, um, we saw all the construction coming and we knew that it was something different and more exciting here in Cleveland, which has expanded into um, Ohio. Through the work of the AKA team, Kirkpatrick hopes to contribute to this development as well as achieve social equity and justice. We want to make sure that we have contractors that and subcontractors that are have the ability to have the capacity to grow at the same rate as the construction. Uh, we want to make sure that we have the workforce and we want to make sure that subcontractors, underrepresented contractors have the ability to participate in the growth. While Ohio is seeing a lot of expansion, Houston recognizes there are still people struggling to find employment. He hopes to lower the unemployment number from the current 3.6 percent, which is still below the national average rate for October of 3.9 percent. We're trying to push for this for job training and higher wages so that people can get ahead. For News 5, I'm Remy Murray reporting.